A basic introduction to primate habitat. A large proportion of primates live in tropical areas. Only a tiny proportion of primates live outside of tropical habitats. For instance, Barbary macaques live in the Atlas Mountains of Algeria and Morocco. Snow monkeys live in the mountains of Japan. This slide shows clearly the tropical areas of the world, including tropical Africa, India, Southeast Asia and South America. The rest of the world has been fuzzed out. The arboreal primates inhabit forested areas, of which there are many types. Evergreen tropical forests are warm and wet. They have a short dry season and a high rainfall. Dry scrub forests are dry with forests along river banks. Deciduous forests consist of trees that lose their leaves during colder seasons. Mangrove forests consist of tropical evergreen trees that can be recognised by roots that look like stilts lifting the trees above the water. These trees grow in slow moving water. Montane forests are those found in mountain areas. This slide shows a simple diagram of different forest and woodland habitat types. The green circles represent the density of trees. Savannah woodland is open, flat, tropical grassland with varying amounts of trees and seasonal rainfall. In the centre of the diagram is a river which has gallery forest either side of it. Gallery woodland can be found along streams and rivers. Secondary forest is that which is regenerating from a disturbance. The disturbance can be natural, for example fire, or can be man-made, for example logging. Primary forest is that which has not been disturbed in several hundred years. Some primates can adapt to different habitat types, for example rhesus macaques. Others are only able to survive in their preferred habitat type, such as the pygmy marmoset. This means that if humans were to destroy all pygmy marmoset habitat type, even if other forest habitat types still existed, pygmy marmosets would not be able to survive. The majority of primates live in a boreal life in the trees, However, some species, such as patas monkeys, are partially terrestrial and will spend some of their time on the ground. Others are fully terrestrial and spend all their time on the ground, for instance, gliders. The level which the primate occupies within the forest is also an important factor and can be divided into the canopy, mid-level and understory. The canopy is the top of the forest where the tallest emergent trees are found. This is the driest and hottest part of the forest during the day, as it has less shade. Growth in an understory is restricted by a lack of sunlight reaching ground level. This means it is easy to manoeuvre through, as there is little vegetation. However, if the higher levels are thinned out, light can then reach the understory and the ground becomes taken over by a tangle of vines, shrubs and small trees. It is then called a jungle. Now for some primate habitat examples. The Sumatran orangutan lives in primary lowland swamp to montane forest, up to 4,000 metres high. The Bornean orangutan lives in primary rainforest, from lowland swamps to forest up to 1,500 metres high. The mountain gorilla lives in montane on bamboo forest at up to 4,000 metres high. The cotton top tamarind lives in secondary wet and dry forest as well as low vine tangles from sea level up to 1,500 metres. The mandrel lives in primary and secondary dense rainforest gallery and coastal forests. And finally, the long-tailed crab-eating macaque lives in primary, secondary, coastal, mangrove, swamp and gallery forest up to 2,000 metres high.